Hello. So this is going to be the first vlog ever for me. I've posted other videos, never vlogged. This is the first vlog. I hope to do this on a regular basis. I hope to do interviews. I hope to do magic commentary. You name it. But this is a vlog for the magic. And uh, every time I vlog, I hope to present a piece. It might be a great piece. It might be not so great piece. But it'll have significance. I'll tell you what the significance is. Uh, today I'm going to present this piece. This is actually the first magic piece I ever owned. This is why I'm presenting it right now. It's the first vlog, first magic piece I ever owned. When I was a kid, I saw George Goebel perform at my Cub Scout group. My dad was an amateur magician and he hired George to come and entertain for us. George was magnificent. Uh, many of you probably don't know who George Goebel is. He ran a costume shop in downtown Baltimore. Uh, he did a full illusion show for many, many years. Great performer, excellent uh, entertainer, wonderful magician. He was influential in, in many of us, including Doug Henning. Uh, David Copperfield knows who the man is. Uh, he's a great collector of, of magic memorabilia. Anyway, George was my inspiration when I was a kid. And uh, I worked hard and saved my money. And uh, my dad took me down to the local magic shop and the dealer showed me this piece. And I, I recently saw it listed online as vintage magic. So here I am, uh, a vintage already. But I, I've had this is the original piece. I've had it forever. And I thought I would show it to you. So it looks this way. The sword goes in this side, comes out this side. You can see it right through there, like that. Uh, the, the die, the sword goes in here, comes out this side here. And the die is trapped on there once the sword is so in place. <clears throat> so it goes in here, the sword penetrates through both, holding obviously the die in place. Now you have to ask yourself a question anytime you do something like this, what does it mean? What for? When I see something like this, I, I, I'm reminded of times in my own life when I feel trapped. I don't have any options. It seems like there's no way out. It reminded me, as I thought about it, it reminded me of a tarot card. Now, tarot is not the, the point of this particular vlog. Uh, I have other vlogs that deal with this sort of thing. But there's a tarot card in particular, and it is the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords. Now, in this tarot card, there's a young lady pictured, and she's got ropes wrapped around her, and she's surrounded by swords. And it appears as though she's bound. But if you look really close at that image, she's got a blindfold on. But at, at the bottom part of the, of the picture here, you can see that her hand is sticking out. And you can see that the swords, they're, they're kind of stuck in the sand. And the rope that's around her is not very tight. So while she's blindfolded and while she's obviously in distress, it's, it's apparent that all she has to do is stand up. That's it. If she stands up, she goes free. And a lot of the problems in our lives, where we feel like we're stuck, where there's no way out, that's exactly the situation. If we stand up, we're free. Something like that. You stand up, you're free. Come on back next time. We hope to have interviews. We're going to do some more magic. We're going to talk about the history of magic. We'll see you next time.